For this tutorial, we'll explore the most basic edits. Delete, cut, copy, and paste. One, two, three, four, five. To begin with, we will select a single word out of the file and delete it. The file we are working with is a simple recording of a person counting to five. As we play the file, notice how easy it is to locate each of the numbers via the waveform display. Select, then do is a common Windows workflow. If you want to do something to some text in a word processing program, for instance, you select the text first and then do something to it. It works the same in audio editing. If we want to delete where the narrator says 5, we must select it first. Click and drag across the part of the waveform that represents the number 5 to select it. Click the play button to make sure you have selected the correct part of the waveform. Five. Choose Edit, Delete, or simply press Delete on the computer keyboard. Play the file, and the number 5 is gone. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, we'll choose Edit, Undo, to undo our delete. Click Play again, and the 5 is back. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. Next, we'll use the cut command to cut the number 5 and move it to a new position in the file. With the number 5 selected, choose Edit, Cut. Place the cursor at the beginning of the file and choose Edit, Paste. Click the Play from Start button. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, the file starts with the word 5. Edits, Undo, removes the 5 from the start, and choosing Edits, Undo again, puts 5 back where it was before the cut. With 5 still highlighted, we'll choose Edit, Copy, to place a copy of that portion of the waveform on the Windows clipboard. Next, place the cursor between the word 1 and 2. Choose Edit, Paste. Play the file back and notice that the word 5 now appears twice in the file, between 1 and 2, and in its original spot. 1, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you have cut or copied material, you can paste it back in anywhere you want as many times as you want. The material stays in the clipboard until you copy or cut something else or close the program.